today we are going to make a drawing and painting that'll look like we can walk into it. It will show depth. Instead of just a horizon line of grass at the bottom, we'll have a few horizon lines. With your pencil, we are going to add foreground, that's the part that's closest to us, a middle ground of grass, and then a background of grass. Our sheep will be big here, smaller and really small, the farther we go back. With your pencil, let's draw a nice little hill. It could be kind of wavy or bumpy, but nothing zigzaggy small. Here's our foreground where our sheep will be the biggest. A little farther up your paper, do another nice little hill. This is the middle ground. The sheep will be a little smaller. One more line. Here is the background where the sheep will be very tiny. And finally, way up at the top is the sky. In nature, if we were to look outside, things that are close to us tend to be a little darker in color. If you're looking way off in the distance, really far, like miles away, it'll be a little fuzzier, a little lighter. With our paintbrush, swirl your paintbrush round and round in the green. In the foreground, we're going to paint underneath our line green. Now we're not done yet. While it's still kind of wet, swirl your paintbrush around just a little, not quite as much. In the blue, we're going to change this green into a bluish green. We'll make it a little darker, a little richer in color. If you need more blue on your brush, give it a quick rinse in the water bowl before you put it back in the blue paint. But don't stay in one spot too long with your paintbrush. You don't want to tear your paper. Wash your brush off. The middle ground will be regular green. Swirl your brush in round and round and paint the middle ground green. Wash your brush off. The background will be a little lighter because it's farther away. You guessed it, we're using green again, but this time we won't leave it regular green. We'll add a little yellow to it. So first, paint it green. While it's still wet, we'll add some yellow, but green first. And wash your brush off, swirl it round and round and round in the yellow. Yellow is a very light color, it's kind of weak. So we need to super duper swirl it around. Then paint yellow on top of your green and you'll have a beautiful 
and yellow green over a yellowish green color. If you need more yellow, wash your brush before putting it back in the yellow. Ooh, our pasture looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's finish off and do the sky. Swirl it round and round. If you paint a sky from side to side, it'll look even more realistic. 